stop these feelings How can I face the truth tonight? Nothing seems to last forever Hmm. That's the story of my life She didn't see you, did she? Come on. All right. The tape? Uh, you okay. said if I did this job, you would give me the tape. I will. Don't get your panties all in a bunch. There. Where are you staying? Come on, where are you staying? Holiday Motel. What's your room number? Four. All right, I'll stop by tomorrow. Hey, Van, I wouldn't screw you over. That's bullshit. New uh, guy in the cell is to shave fish. Shave his hand, I should know that. Shave a new kid on the block. Anyway, go ahead. So processing and counting is three days. And I mean three days of sleep on cold concrete. The only thing you have to eat is these bologna sandwiches, which the meat has these green spots in it, which... I've, no, penicillin. <laughs> either... <laughs> it's called mold. Mold, man. That's what that is. The green stuff. So what happened? So that was all I ate for three days. I mean, three days of just sleeping on frozen concrete, face to face with guys who, for one, have the worst breath, for two, probably has who knows what disease going on inside them. All right, some of us are trying to lose here. I mean, it's horrible. You know, you see some strange things inside. In lockdown once, I saw two guys have a knife fight in wheelchairs. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one in here that hasn't done hard time? I think so. <laughs> Wait a minute. Upstate, there were these three Nazi boys, supposed to be real tight with each other, you know, and they tried to smuggle some blow in, but the mule skinhead uh, swallowed it instead of, you know, keistering it for easy access. 
So they cut him open and snorted the coke. Jeez. And then there were two. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Van. Good to see you. Things don't change around here. I was out with the girls. I didn't think you'd still be up. Just a quick shower. looking for you. Oh, yeah? You said it's about? No. Look at the sleepy little parole bird. Let's give him a little going away present. <laughs> this one will be back. Hey, Bill. Yes. Frank, uh, Frank said you want to see me? Yes, I did. Uh, I was looking through my books the other day, mm -hmm. and uh, when you would come in to pay your rent, we neglected to charge you enough taxes. Uh, you owe a balance of $150 on your taxes. And I need that as soon as possible. 
Can you give me a couple days? I can give you two days. After that, then we'll have to check out the facility. Hey, Olivia, you want to go uptown and take a look at some artwork? Let's go uptown. I think you should see this new painting they have at the gallery. Actually, I've already made plans with Sarah. Yeah, but whatever. Maybe next time. Hi, I'm calling about your ad in the paper for a sweeper driver. It's already failed. It has. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. really great for about two months, then he turned out to be a total jerk. Mm. So do you think he knows about you and Jack? I'm beginning to think that he's been too nice to me lately. Mm. That sucks. Not exactly. <laughs> I've seen you too. You dork, don't be so sensitive. I gotta keep moving, I can't feel like you want to be in. So what did you end up doing last night? Nothing. Stayed in, watched TV. Oh yeah, with what's his face? Who, Mark? Mm-hmm. He's a loser. You think? I didn't tell you. Tell me what? I dumped him after he embarrassed the hell out of me in a restaurant. <sighs> Saw that coming. How long's this been in here for? A few weeks. You know, I never really liked Mark anyways. Treating me like crap. If you'd been around, you would've beat him up. You know, I really hate asking this, but I'm a little short on rent this month in the motel. Could you spare 150? That sucks. Thank you. myself because I can't swim. Thank you. 
Missed a call from Jack. Jack? Oh. Sorry, sir. We're closed for the day. Oh, well, the sign says you're open. Normally we are at this time, but we closed early. We're preparing for a show tonight. Here's an invitation. Doors open at 7. I want to talk to you about something first. You don't have it. I want you to get me another painting. Again? Yeah. Why? Come on, hey, 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 come on. What? Hear me out. Five o'clock summer, right? You've been way too long, fantasy boy. Take two guys and a woman. Make the guys twins. The first twin says to the woman, I love you, and that's it, I love you. The second buys her expensive gifts, rings, whatever, the stuff that she really wants. Guess who's getting lucky? That's the dumbest analogy I've ever heard. Gel make you smart? What makes you an expert in love? Women don't want you to buy them anything to love you. They don't want you to have people steal from them. They want you to ask how their day was. Make them feel safe and secure inside. Hold them on a cold night. Buy them flowers for their birthday, maybe chocolates. Make them know everything about you and them they still love you. That's love, John. You ever been married? Had a girlfriend? Been in a serious relationship, anything? It's not that. I didn't think so. Here's the deal. Attend his gallery tonight, look around, mingle. You're unbelievable. Just work your magic and get me the painting. I promise this is the last time. <laughs> The WPA 
the Works Progress Administration, bringing relief to people using schools and roads and public artwork. This piece symbolically representing that, bringing optimism, that titan pulling back the night veil. I want to introduce you to a friend. This is Monica, Tim's sister. Hello, honored to meet you. Hello. We're sorry Tim couldn't make it for his own show, but we're happy you're here to represent him. Thank you. Uh, where did you say you were from? Asmo Town. Huh? Uh, you have to talk loud and oh. slowly. Oh. I am not from around here. Oh. Yeah, Osno Lubuskie. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> he doesn't actually. He, he gets a little confused, especially at night. What's your name? Uh, this is Monica. She's visiting for Tim's show. Doesn't ring a bell. And who's Tim? Uh. <laughs> Monica? It's okay. It's me, Van. Do you know this gentleman? No, I don't. He seems to know your name. He's obviously mistaking me for someone else. Monica, I can explain. Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? Yeah, you can get out of my way. I'm not looking for any confrontation, but whoever you are, you need to leave the lady alone. Hey, get your hands off me. Was that really necessary? Go to your room, right now. It's okay, leave him alone. I seem to have started it. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Hey, Carl. Good morning. You want any towels, cups, coffee? You need your windows cleaned? It's all right, I'm good, bro. She took off like she didn't know who I was. Where was this? Ugh. Grocery store. Van, who knows what was going through her head? Maybe she thought she saw a ghost. Does she even know you're out? She never knew I went in. Wow. Yeah. You might have scared her and she ran off. And you're sure it was Monica? Positive. This one time I was walking down the sidewalk and I thought I saw one of my friends. I mean, it looked just like her. The walk. Everything. I'd even just been thinking about her. So I yell, Betty, and I start walking faster, and this woman is totally trying to ignore me, and it wasn't until I was almost right in her face that I realized it wasn't Betty. <laughs> it wasn't funny at the time. Now I can laugh about it, but at the time, I felt really stupid. Yeah. But I'm sure this was Monica. Wait. I'm not done. So, this woman gives me this weird look, and then seconds later, guess who calls me on my cell? Betty. Right. So what I'm saying is, maybe it wasn't her you saw, but maybe Monica is calling you. <laughs> you don't get it. Trust me, she'll find you if she wants to. Not to change the subject, but do you have any interviews lined up? It's not from lack of trying. Every employer wants to know every intricate detail of my life. And until then, you can borrow my bike. I haven't ridden a bike since I was 12. 
some things you don't forget. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? No. Leave me alone! Wait. Oh. Ah. I should have backed over you and made sure you're dead. Please, 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 don't go. Please, I can explain everything. No, Just give leave me, me alone! Just give me a chance. Give me one chance to explain, please. One chance. Can't explain. I'm sorry. Listen, I can't even believe you're here right now. I've been thinking about you every day. Really? Really. I went away for a while. You think this is some kind of coincidence? It's not. Here. Let me give you my phone number. Can I have yours? Why should I? Because I don't want to lose you again. <sighs> when can I see you? Let's not wait too long. That hurt, by the way. Where's the painting? Why are you shaking your head? It wasn't there. Are you kidding me? Does it look like I'm joking? If I find out any differently, you'll be upstate so fast, next time anyone will see you, it'll be at your funeral. Hello? Hi. Hi. Do you still like the beach? Um, yeah. Um, what are you saying? I, I can come and pick you up. I'm over at a motel off Main Street. Okay, I exactly know what that is. Um, how about 11 o'clock? Okay. Wait. Don't ever say goodbye.
Here's your toast and your check. I'll be your cashier whenever you're ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Event. Where did you go? Okay. I I went away for a while. I went to prison. You what? I was asked by some guys you don't exactly say no to to recover some art. It was a. Uh, Stolen from the original owner, and they wanted me to get it. As it turns out, it was a setup. I was tricked. Theft by deception. Couldn't you explain you were innocent? The guys that hired me, they had ties to the FBI. There was no one I could trust. It's okay. It's all over now. Hello? Van? Can you hear me? I just want us to fix our relationship. Does this have anything to do with you not getting the painting? Hey. Don't hey me. <laughs> but if you don't start cooperating with me, I don't know what I'll do. Okay. Well, are you actually the agent who's going to be handling this? All right. Thank you. What happened? Someone broke in last night and stole Twilight of Man. I'm sorry. Oh, so, so you admit it? This guy, he's, he's got tape on me, and he says if I don't do what he wants me to, I'll turn over to the FBI. Send me back upstate for life. Here, we'll sit, sit down. Take your time.
Okay. I'll be fine. You gotta be telling it to me straight. Okay? I thought you said I could trust you. I'm telling you the truth. Monica, I love you. And I would do anything to hurt you. I was gonna steal it back, I just didn't figure it out how I was gonna do it yet. I didn't want to steal it, you gotta believe me. What were my other options? Steal it back. You're a professional tech. Just just go and get it. You don't know this guy. He is whacked. But who is that person? His name is John. He used to work security at a place where people stored their paintings. I was hired to do a job one night while he was working. It turns out he ended up getting surveillance on me. He has it now and says if I don't do what he wants, he'll use it to send me to prison. What a creep. He found me and I got out of prison. Whatever happened to the painting? I don't know. This detective guy? He doesn't scare me. He sounds weak and he's no match for us. <laughs> You're right. He's not. I do have his address. Wait, wait. You know where he lives? Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? Let's go get it! Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. We gotta plan this stuff out. Go to his house. I'm gonna watch out for anything suspicious in the street. That's right. You're my spotter. That's where you'll be most effective. What if he's home? <laughs> Don't worry about that. Good. The main thing is to get the tape, and you know, my brother can always make another picture. I'll get the picture too. Good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Olivia. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Century green and red pearl. Mm. Here, let me help you. Oh, this must have cost you fortune. Uh, I like to think of more than an investment. Investment. What are you doing? Oh my. Ah. Uh, Party's over. You can all go home now. Thanks for coming. Goodbye. Is everything okay?
Hey, birthday girl. This is it. You ready? Good luck. Fran! Fran! Be careful, okay? You're not taking the painting.
fine with you. Yeah. <laughs> what? I did good, right? You did amazing. All right, break it up. Come on. Well, pal, here you go. Let's call it even. Oh! <laughs> now we're even. Fine. Fine. Expecting something more? No, it's just if not too much baggage. It's better that way. I see. For oh, sure. Where are you going? Uh, we're gonna go see up their brother for a while up north, but uh, we'll be back sometime. Nice. Take care. Isn't that the detective guy? Nah. 